for this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Paintbox Simply Aran and a 5mm hook but you want to check your yarn band to see which hook size it recommends. You want a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. As always I'll leave a link in the description box where you can find the written instructions for this tutorial plus links to yarn and hooks etc that I am using. As always, if you like my tutorials, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'd also love it if you subscribe to my channel and click that bell button because you will be notified of when my videos go live. Okay, let's get started. You want to begin by creating a slip knot and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook. And for this pattern, you can work in any number of stitches. So you can create your uh, foundation chain to any length that you would like or your preferred length. You want to go ahead and yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Go ahead, work your foundation chain to your chosen length, and then we'll come back and get started on the pattern. So I've gone ahead and done my foundation chain. Once you've got to the width of chain that you want, you're going to go ahead and just add one more for turning. And we're going to start with row one. So we're going to work into the third chain from the hook. So not the one on the hook. This is the first, second and third. And we're going to do a treble crochet. Now remember I'm working in UK terms. In the US this is known as double crochet. So yarn over into that third chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, you'll have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through those two loops. You're going to go ahead and do this in each and every chain along that foundation chain. So go ahead, pause the video, work those treble crochets, and meet me back in just a moment. I have just worked that first row and it's worth remembering that your chain two or your turning chain does class as a stitch. So just make a note of how many stitches you have in that row because it will be important when we do the next row. Now we're not going to work the next row in the traditional way where we would chain and then turn. We're actually going to work back along this row um, from the, the opposite way. So, so we're going to keep the right side of the work facing us at all times with this pattern. So we, what we want to do here is chain one and then we're going to work a reverse double crochet. Remember I'm working in UK terms so that is single crochet in the US. This is also known as crab stitch. So what you want to do is take a look at the stitches along the top. If you turn your stitches upwards, you can see these V's all along your work. We're actually going to be working into the front loop of these stitches rather than both of them. Now this very first stitch can be a little bit tricky. What you want to do is turn your work so that you can see those V's and you want to insert your hook into the front loop of that very first stitch. Now, as I say, that is the hardest one to do. You want to yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. Now it gets a little bit easier. So you want to go just into the front loop, yarn over and pull through, and yarn over and pull through, both loops on the hook. Turn it upwards into the front loop, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. Now I have tried this by going into the front loop this way, but you just don't get the same effect as if you work into it this way. So from bottom to top, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Once you get into the hang of this, it does become much easier. So you want to go ahead and do that into each and every stitch all the way across. Pause the video, work your way to your last stitch and then meet me back in just a moment. So once you've worked those stitches, you want to make sure that you have the right amount of stitches and that you've worked all the way to the end of that row. Then what you can do is go ahead and 
insert your hook into that chain two, the very last stitch of that row and just slip stitch in order to anchor that stitch downwards. We're then going to move on to row three. So you want to chain three, one, two and three. That will class as a stitch. And then we're going to work into the back loops of those stitches that we left from the two rows below. So the trebles of this row one, we're going to work into those back loops, which is what we left. So yarn over into the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You might just want to pull down those um, stitches from row two so that you can see them a little bit better, uh, but they should stick up quite nicely. So you're going to do one treble crochet into each of the stitches all the way across, making sure that you have the same amount of stitches that you have had previously. So go ahead, pause the video, work those trebles all the way to the end of the row and meet me back in just a moment. So there we have our row three and from here onwards you're just going to repeat rows two to three over and over again. So from here you would chain one and then do your reverse double crochet. Remember this very first one is a little bit more tricky so take your time with it and then move on to the next stitch and all the way across. So as I say, you're going to repeat rows two and three until you get to your desired height. I'm going to go ahead and build a few more rows so that you can start to see what this looks like. Okay, so I have just finished building a few more rows to this pattern and you can see that it just builds such an interesting texture to the fabric. So I really hope that you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget I'll leave a link in the description box below of where you can find the written pattern for this particular stitch. As always, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.